<laughs> well, hey there, my name is Captain Diamond Armor Wishbone, and today I'm gonna fulfill a promise that I made a long, long time ago. That's right, one of the first suggestions we got on this channel was to get a diamond ship built, and I think I've finally got enough diamonds to do it. So, let's do that today! But first, I know you guys have had something on your mind, and I think it's about time we address the camel on the stairs, don't you? Hello! Gosh, I love that camel. But anyways, no, really, let's uh, let's walk and talk, shall we? Where are we going, you might ask? Well, you might remember back in the spruce forest, we found a very special block, and I've got my silk touch pickaxe here, and we're gonna go get it. So, what is the topic of conversation as we walk, you might ask? Well, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that Captain Wishbone got a job! Hooray! I don't have to eat my old clothes anymore! And the bad news is that I've had very little time to work on videos. It makes me really sad. In an ideal world, YouTube could just be my full-time work, but we're just not there yet. Someday. But I bring this up for three reasons. First is to let you know where I've been. Second is to say how grateful I've been for those of you who have stuck around, and even the new subscribers that we've gotten while you've been waiting for new content. And third is to just tell you that my videos may not come out on a consistent schedule much from here out. I absolutely want to keep it up, and I really do hope someday that I'll just be able to do this, just YouTube. All in good time, though. But I hope this doesn't scare any of you away. We're still going strong, just be patient with me and don't leave the crew. Cause I love you and I need you here. And there are really, really big things coming up, sooner than you might think. Ah, <sighs> here we are. It seems like only yesterday, but it also seems like so long ago. Oh, it's my old hut! Do you guys remember this? Ah, uh, getting flashbacks. What a nice little place to spend time. I liked it a lot here. Let's go get our, uh, super secret diamond- Oh, I spoiled it. Our super secret block that I didn't spoil. If I can remember how to get down there. I- I swear it was like right over here. I'm not lost, you're lost! Um. Ah, okay, okay, here we go. Hey, <laughs> hey, see, I, I knew where it was the whole time. You guys doubted me. I gotta be honest, my uh, in game direction skills are not very good, so I'm kind of impressed that I'm even getting this far. And we marked it with a dirt column, do you recall? Ha 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 ha, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, I know it's been a while, but do you remember what's under here? That's right, it's a diamond in stone. You just don't see these very often anymore. Man, we're rich! We're... <laughs> what? This is awkward. I just barely said you don't see them anymore. There's, they're super rare, and I just I found a second one. Okay, all right. Well, you know what? More for me. You can judge me if you want. You know, as embarrassed as I am, I'm just tickled pink. Look at that. We got two diamond and stone blocks. One's going in our uh, museum, our, our trophy room. Uh, the other one, I don't Should they both go in the trophy room? I don't know. What do you guys think? Trophy room, yay, nay. Use diamonds. I. Mm, you say the word. I'm going to let you decide on that one. All right, we'll say goodbye to this beautiful place one more time. I think it's time to go home. We'll check up on Social Media Mountain, then let's build that ship, huh? And we're back! Let's go ahead and see, using our fortune pickaxe, just how much this will give us. Wow! Two! Okay, but the big thing, the big deal, the reason why we're here, put this sweet, beautiful block and its partner on a trophy in our trophy room. I'm just, like I said, tickled pink. All right, let's go to work. Let's head on over to Social Media Mountain and we'll update our numbers there. Then we'll go ahead and get started on our ship. All right, it's all up to date. And you know what? This is pretty exciting. This is the first time we've really had a spike in anything that wasn't YouTube. But our formerly known as Twitter and our Instagram, it's it's kind of starting to pick up just a little. We got six followers over at Instagram now. And I think they deserve just a little bit better of a living situation, don't you? I, I mean, Larry's got all this. I'm sure they're they're getting jealous. Let's um let's start thinking about what we could do. I'm thinking about like a penthouse right up there on top. I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think? Now over here at what was formerly known as Twitter, at Casadel Larry, Larry, Hank, and our Twitter chicken. They've got three new buddies to hang out with. Finally, it's not so lonely over here. Do you remember, Larry? Do you remember when we only had one and then that one just kind of like disappeared for a while and then came back and I had to go find this guy and named him Hank and had to have him hang out with you for the whole time just to see if, you know, you could get some company and not be so sad all the time. Do you remember? I remember. But now there's four of you at formerly known as Twitter. It's pretty great. And I'm pretty psyched about it. I'm not going to lie. Just over the moon. But honestly, as excited as I am about Instagram, 
Instagram and formerly known as Twitter. This one here. This is the big one, the big kahuna that I'm so proud to announce that we broke over a hundred subscribers on YouTube. I mean, look, I even had to extend their pen because I, it was entity cramming as I was adding new subscribers to the pen. It's just, it's just so exciting to me. We're over a hundred subs on YouTube. That is huge. And especially since I haven't added very many videos recently, that means that you guys have one, stuck around, and two, my name is getting out there still, which means you guys are probably the ones spreading the love and making sure that Captain Wishbone stays alive. So thank you so, so much. And of course you know what this means. It means our population here at all of Social Media Mountain is well over a hundred, so we are gonna have some streets to build here in a little bit. All right now, can you keep a secret? I, in order to plan these streets out, I downloaded a super secret special tool. It's called the super secret special fancy fly mode, and it goes like this. You activate the super secret fancy fly mode, and then you put it over the top of what it is that you would like to fly fancily over, and then you can use it to plan your builds. So here's what I want you guys to do. Take a look at this and start thinking about where you might want these streets to go. You can describe it to me down in the comments, or on Facebook, or on my Instagram, or Twitter, or you can take a screen screenshot and color on that screenshot and then post it to my Instagram and then I'll take a look at it. Maybe we can have a little community vote and then we'll decide where those streets need to go. But that's going to be our very next project. So you start thinking about it, okay? I'm, I'm counting on you. Now without further ado, let's get over here as fast as we can and get that boat built. A captain without a boat is no captain at all. Let's do this. Oh, hello again. Okay, I went ahead and gathered up all the materials that we're going to need for this build. And as you can see, there's a lot of dark oak in here. Well, that's because I couldn't make the entire ship out of diamonds. One, because each of these diamond blocks is nine diamonds individually. So this is over 900 diamonds, and it took me about a full month to grind those out. So first, it's a time thing. Second, these diamond blocks cannot be configured into slabs or into stairs. And so I have to have a different type of block. Um, and so I just decided to use dark oak because I like the contrast between the dark brown and this lighter blue. So the next thing we need to do is figure out where we're going to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and activate super secret fancy fly mode and we're going to go way up here to see our area. I don't think I've ever seen it like this before. It's kind of nice. So, it's a boat. It's got to be on some water, right? And I'm looking at these two ponds over here. This one would probably be ideal, but there's this hill right in the way. Now, we could terraform that down, um, but it might sit really nice right there, just kind of be behind the hill, and then we trim the edge of that off. Hmm. Or we could tear this entire hill down. Okay, so here's what I think I'll do. I think maybe I'll just break this little dam away and then connect these two rivers, and then we can put the ship right here. We can see that from the top of our patio here. We can also see it as we're climbing the stairs. We'll be able to see it over there. Okay, I think I like that. Let's go for this pond. We'll connect these two water streams here, and we'll build the ship right here where it's easily seen around this area. Okay, let's get started.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it took a little bit, but I finally give you Skipper Nathan's diamond ship. Oh, yeah. She's a beaut, I tell you what. Now, like I said before, I couldn't cover the whole thing in diamonds, but man, I think that beautiful blue accent against that dark brown wood is just, just right. So let's take a look here at the comment and make sure I hit all the requirements. The comment says, Dear Handsome Captain Wishbone, that's me, I want a diamond pirate ship. And I think we got that one, check. With a fence on the poker, or the bowsprit. Uh-huh, uh-huh, looks good to me. A sail, perfect. A good strong mast, yep, got that. A flag, oh, perfect, very wishbone-like. And finally, a beautiful blue crow's nest. Yes siree, Bob, I think everything seems to be in order. Well, I hope it's everything you ever dreamt it would be, but there's still more to show, so come along with me. First, I'll point out that I used glass instead of diamond for the crow's nest. That's just so that I could look down and see everything below me instead of only being able to see forward and up. These fancy hatches. Cargo for your long journeys. You'll notice little diamonds poking out all over the ship. I think this part is my favorite along the side here. You can see it all the way along, just a nice band. Captain's quarters that have yet to be decorated. And finally, I got this big old open space that, you know, I'm not really too sure what to do with just yet. Obviously, it could be extra storage and cargo, uh, a brig for prisoners or your sleeping quarters. I could move it down and have a bigger bedroom. Or it could be just a spot that I'd sit and shoot the breeze with myself. You know, it could be like, well, hey, how are you, Captain Wishbone? To which I would respond, not too shabby. How are you holding up? Oh, you know me, just living the dream, living the pirate's life. Ha, 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 ha. How are the kids, Marjorie? Well, you know that Jimothy ran off to study liberal arts at university. Why do you ask so uh, much? Um, sir, uh, respectfully, you asked me to come intervene if you ever started doing this again. Uh, I, I was just fulfilling. Oh, man, was I doing it again? Oh, shoot. I am so I am so embarrassed. Thank you, Harold. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank y you. Yeah, you're welcome. Where would I no be problem. without you? No problem. Oh, hey, Harold. Hmm? Um... Hey, so the viewers really liked that joke you told the other day. Would you be willing to tell us another one? <sighs> well, they don't use the name Lance too much anymore these days, but uh, in medieval times, they used Lance a lot. Harold, I think that may have been the best joke I've ever heard in my whole life. You're welcome, sir. Gosh, I love that guy. Okay, let's head upstairs. I want to see this from above. It's... It's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here and mark this one off of our to-do list, and then uh, we're going to go down and see if we can get that baby moving. Yeah, you didn't think I just built that ship to look at, did you? Okay, so I'm just going to have to do a few modifications. First, we're going to need some fuel. A diamond fuel for a diamond ship. Very expensive. That's okay. Here is going to be our autopilot stick. This just allows me to control it from up here because I can't see past the sail when I stand up there. Okay, now we're going to want to put in an indicator light so we know if it's running or not. Ignition switch. Autopilot's permission lever. Let's see if we can get this. Hey... There we go. It's running. It's purring like a kitten. Let's come up here, see if we can get this. And then I don't need this anymore. This must be some sort of delay. Oh, there we go. What, the, what happened? It shut down. Why? Why did it shut down? Um, who's there? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Full speed ahead. Okay, all right, we should be good now. Try this again, and come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, we did it. Oh my gosh, we did it, you guys. Oh, I didn't know we could do this in Minecraft, look at us. Oh shoot, I should. Hey Harold, Larry's in charge, I'll be back in a couple hours.
let's see what this baby can do. Come on! We gotta hit this at just the right angle or we're all gonna end up in the wash. Pull the port. Just a little more. That's it, right there. Hold it. Just like riding a bike. Come on. A little to the starboard now. That's it. Grab onto something! Yes! You know, it occurs to me that not enough people plan the landing. Only the takeoff. Have you ever noticed that? I mean, kind of like I just did. Oh, pull up. Avoid the water. Oh, it's not the water I'm worried about, though. Oh, slow us down. Open them sails. Did I leave the oven on? Brace yourselves. Oh, my head. Ugh. Jeez, where am I? What? Looks like the ship's okay. I lost all my levels and- Oh, my diamond armor! Oh, I'm naked! I've lost it all! Look at these skid marks. I must have really been coming in hot. Ah! <laughs> my ship! I spent months on this! <laughs> At least there's still some diamonds to salvage, I guess. Let's get this- ah! Put the fires out. Put the fires out. Put the fires out. Oh no. Oh, it's all gone. Even my lamp, my ignition. Oh, my sail too. Oh, come on. Jeez, I remember. Do you remember we stood right here and we looked at the back of the sail as we started it up for the first time? And down here, my captain's quarters. Oh, and this is where I heard that awesome joke from Harold. It's all gone. Oh, and up here, I guess, is the front half. Yeah, go ahead and pull a Titanic on me, why don't you? <laughs> it's all over the place. Look at this mess. Okay, so let's take inventory here. I have no armor, I have no tools, and I don't even remember how to get back to my house because we came in from the flippin' atmosphere. I don't... <sighs> <sighs> breathe, Wishbone. Breathe, Wishbone. I think I saw... When we came in, it was right over there. It looked like a little bit of civilization. Let me see if I can get down from here. Right over... Yeah, right over there. That doesn't look like a naturally generated structure. I think there's a village over there. So, I mean, I, I could go, you know, foraging for supplies and materials and food. But I think our best bet is to go raid a village. At least until we can figure out the direction to our base. I knew I should have gotten ship insurance. What was I thinking? Ooh, I gotta get me some food pretty quick. Oh, here we are. Okay. What the heck? I don't think I've ever seen a house built like that by villagers. All right, let's see if I can find anything around here I can eat. Aha, I just cannot get over this. Whoa, look at that one, I like that. Dang, is this is this a new update or something? Is there like a new like pumpkin harvesting villager? I, there are a ton of pumpkins around here. What the, what the heck is that? It's all this, a shop? You don't just walk up and trade with them anymore? There's shops? ATM, holy cow. Ah, that's pretty. Hmm. Well, would you look at that? Now I think I've seen everything. Okay, this has got to be some sort of update, because I am so confused. I went, okay, I went a thousand blocks in every direction from my base, but I never saw anything like this before. I'm really just kind of looking for a villager to see what kind of trades they have. I know I, I'm supposed to be, like, rummaging through chests and stuff, but I just got so distracted. Oh, sweet, there's one right there. Let's see what kind of trades they have. Ah, uh, no trades. This one must just be a nitwit. Hey! Who are you calling a nitwit? Ah! Stay cool, Wishbone. Stay cool. You don't want to raise new prices on you. Now, time for some of that A-plus negotiating. Um, <laughs> so, sorry. Um, you just, you startled me. Do you, do you happen to have a bow? Uh, yeah, I think I do, actually. Could I borrow your bow? Oh, sweet. And, oh, and an arrow. an arrow? Yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Thank you. Awesome. Um, hey! Who are you? Oh. Talk! What? How did you build all this? Uh... Why don't you have any trades? You... 
I'm not a villager. This this is the craftwork server. So, uh, Craftworks, huh? Yeah, Craftworks. You guys sure like pumpkins around here. Some more than others. Plans, uh, plans for the weekend? Uh, which weekend? 